Hey, what's going on everybody? Thomas here, and this is Buffalo Fanatics. In this video, I got some breaking Buffalo Bills news for you guys. Cordy Glenn and the 21st overall pick have just been shipped off to the Cincinnati Bengals for the 12th overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. So I absolutely love this trade. Like, I am just so happy that we have guys like Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean in our front office right now that are making moves. Um, I think any Bills fan who's really looking at it um, and not just kind of standing from an outside point, like they're actually looking at it and they're following what's going on, like they're really happy. Because if you can not tell, I'm glowing right now. I'm ecstatic because the thing is here, with this kind of move of the Buffalo Bills just kind of moving up halfway to where they'd probably rather be, um, they are allowing themselves to have a higher pick that has a little bit more value and you know They still have another first They still have two more seconds two more thirds even if they just stayed put right now They probably could get a pretty good quarterback However, there are teams in front of the bills right now that can grab a guy and we probably won't see Rosen fall to 12 or Mayfield fall to 12 or Sam Darnold fall to 12 especially Sam Darnold. I mean he's projected to go like to the top two so you know um, it's it's you know you, you, there still needs to be trades if you want to if you want a franchise quarterback in this draft you still got to trade up and I think the Buffalo Bills have already had this this plan for a while and now they're just now they're just going through with it I think the move of Tyrod Taylor solidified their plan and they said okay now we moved on from him we got a pretty good pick in that so we can still do some great things so what I think the Buffalo Bills are gonna do to move up again is they are going to package the 12th and the 22nd overall pick in the first round, the 56th pick in the second round, and the 65th pick in the third round. All of those picks are worth 25,585 points according to the draft value chart, and the second overall pick is worth about 2,600 points. So this kind of works out here. I mean, it's a little bit less, like they could throw in like a, like a fifth rounder or something, or like something for next year, like a fifth rounder for next year or something, just to sweeten the deal a little bit. But honestly, like this is not that far away from happening. So if you guys wanted like somebody like Rosen or Darnold or Mayfield on your team next year, like how I, like how I did, you're gonna get them. Uh, one of those guys are gonna be on the Bills roster. Um, no, there's no doubt in my mind with that move. It solidifies their trade up. I mean, as soon as they traded Tyrod Taylor for the 65th overall pick, which was just like, I was like, wow, this is crazy. Um, you know, by doing that, I think that was kind of like, that was the first official step. I mean, there was, that was like, that was like, okay, now we're moving into the unknown. We don't have a starting quarterback. We only have Peterman. Some people swear by Peterman starting. Oh, I want Peterman to start, <laughs> you know, and, and I, I think he's got potential, honestly, but let's, 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 let's level here. He, he's not going to start for us. He's going to be a, he's going to be a, a, a QB three for us. So if the bills actually were to do that trade up, like I said, their draft would actually look like the second overall pick, a second rounder, a third rounder, a fourth rounder, a fifth rounder, and a sixth rounder. So pretty much a normal draft. Oh, but there's a catch. You have a franchise quarterback. Or at least you think you got a guy who can come in and be your franchise quarterback. And you know what? Being a Bills fan who has only seen the playoffs once in his life, I will say this. This is making me very happy. And I think if you're a Bills fan, you can't help but be happy. I mean, the Buffalo Bills are taking a chance on a guy, and I think that's all you can really do, because in the NFL, it's all what ifs. It's all ifs. It's all what happens here, what happens here. NFL is always changing. That's what makes it so much fun and so interesting to watch, is because every week, every week the NFL changes, and, you know, trades happen, P players get injured, you know, and, and, and all this stuff happens, and it just, like, it blows your mind, because new players go on new teams, and the draft, and offseason, and you know, the regular season, and the Super Bowl, and playoffs, and all this stuff, and it's always changing. So it's really cool to see how the Buffalo Bills are actually taking a chance for once. They're not playing the safe card, and I love that. I love that about this regime um, in Buffalo, is that they are just taking a chance, and that's all you can do. At the end of the day, that's all you're gonna do. If Rosen gets his head chopped off in a meat slicer or something in two years, which would be horrible. <laughs> it would be absolutely horrible. It is what it is. You can't do anything about it. 
You can, however, with the draft capital you have, move up and take a chance. And I think that this makes a lot of sense, and I think it's perfect. I think that there's nothing more that you could do, and I think the Buffalo Bills are going about it absolutely perfectly. Um, and they're setting themselves up for a great future. So if you're a Bills fan who has always been looking to the future, uh, like pretty much everybody, um, then you can basically rest assured that the Bills are doing everything that they can to win this season, the next season, the season after that, and have playoffs every single season. So, you know... It's exciting. It's exciting. You can you can tell. It's it's very exciting, and I think that everybody watching this video is is moderately happy. I think people saw Deion Dawkins as that that left tackle fit, um, you know, when he came in and played, and, and and he played great. And I think it made it made Cordy Glenn expendable. You know, no doubt about that. And now you see that. You know, in 2018, the, we save 4.5 million in cap space. So now we already have that cap space. Uh, that's already saved up, um, you know, for this offseason and this year. But in 2019, his cap hit would have been $12 million. And if you already got a rookie that can come in and you're like, I'm fine with having him there, that $12 million looks very distasteful. And it was a great trade because now you're in a spot where you can do a lot of things and trading up becomes your number one priority and there you go. So it was actually pretty crazy. I actually was taking a nap and once I woke up, I was actually dreaming about the Bills, which is very interesting because that never happens to me even though I'm a huge Bills fan. I'm like, I, w I wish I could always dream about the Bills, especially winning the Super Bowl, but that's besides the point. Um, but um, I woke up and I saw my phone going crazy and I was like, what's going on? Oh, Cordy Glenn got traded. Okay, okay. I was like, okay, he got traded for what? Oh my god, the Bills moved up too! Like, what the heck was going on? I was like, just like, freaking out. I was like, no way. And so, you know, that now I had, I knew I had to make a video, and so, here you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, just a little something something. Um, huge news. Huge news. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day wherever you're watching this from. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go leave a like down below, comment your opinions, just don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!